Welcome back, everybody. Little Fish here with another blind bag review. And today I have three more Digimon Digital Monster Original Minis Domes to share with you guys. I will leave a link below to my first opening of this Series 1 collection, released by Zag Toys. And before we begin, I just wanted to do a little bit of housekeeping, as you might remember. Or if you didn't, make sure to check that link below. I had gotten Gabumon, and he had that smudge on the glass by his nose. And there's also a smudge over here. And you might also remember that he was kind of coming off his base. Well, Zack Toys has sent me a replacement, so now you guys can take a look at what Gabumon is really supposed to look like. So this is the one I opened, and you can see the smudge on the plexiglass, or the plastic dome. And this is what Gabumon really looks like. I still absolutely love the mold and model for these. A little bit of scuffing, but that is much better than this black ick over there. So you can see that he is flat on the base, and here he is coming off the base. So that is probably why there's that smudge on the plastic dome, because he fell over. But this is what he is really supposed to look like. So a big, big thanks to Zag Toys for replacing my Gabumon, and they also sent me an extra bag. So, instead of having three blind bags to open, we have four. So, hopefully we will not get another Gabumon, because Gabumon. And hopefully we'll get some new Digimon. Really, really hoping for that Gomamon, but we'll just have to open them up and find out. So, let's take a look. I think I will begin with the bag that Zag Toys sent me with my replacement Gabumon. I'm just going to look over the bag really quick. If you want to see a more in-depth look at the bag, take a look at that link below. So, Digimon Domes. Nine in all to collect. This is Series 1. Domes. Original minis, meant for the age above 14. Not meant for the years under 3 due to small parts that could be considered choking hazards. Back of the bag. Digimon Domes. And these are all the Digimon you can collect in this series. Agumon, Gabumon, Biomon, Tentomon, Palmon, Gomamon, Patamon, Gatomon, also known as Tailmon, and the rare chase character of Spoilers, Greymon. For more information, you can visit zagtoys.com or visit them on Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter. And they are posting constantly pictures of all their new lines and new toys. And I still cannot wait for those Digimon plush toys. But they also have Over the Garden Wall coming out and Stitch from Lilo and Stitch. Really looking forward to all those. These were also a product of Toei Animation, Zag Toys. And you can also combine them by stacking them or clipping them together. So, let's open this up. And Zag Toys, let's see who you sent me in this blind bag. Like last video, they are in a paper crate. Just gotta slip that out. And they sent me Beomon! I really wanted this one! So we are off to a great start. I did not have Beomon and I really did want her. So this is the sculpt. And sorry for any glare because of the dome. You cannot take them off, unfortunately. But I still really like the fact that there's the dome. It protects them from breaking and protects them in shipping. Plus you can stack them and they really do make great for displaying. And there's Lizzie on top for stacking. Kind of get a look at her from above. Can't really get a good look from below. Though. The paint job on this is really nice. Still a really great sculpt. And on the front it just says Digimon, Digital Monster. All the bases are the same. They are this lime green kind of color. And this is where the clip will go to the side. So we will clip her with Gabumon. This goes right in there. And we can put the other Gabumon on top for now. So the Z just fits in right there. Oh, nope, didn't fit in that time. And there goes the other Gobblemont. Oh, there we go. Clip together. 
And let's move on to the next bag. And as you can see, these are really easy to open up. They do not need tear strips. All right, next one, who's it gonna be? And we have Gatomon. Oh, she's pretty cute. A little bit of scuffing on the dome, but the paint job on the figure is pretty nice. Same base as the others, light green or lime green. And that is Gatomon or Tailmon. On to the next bag. Alrighty. Let's see, let's see. Oh, another Gatomon. We've already taken a look at her, so move this one off to the side and check out our last bag. This one smells a little painty. Let's see who we got. Another Gabumon. Well, you've seen my other two Gabumon, so I guess that's it. So these are the Digimon Original Minis domes that I have for today. Of the new characters that I've added to my collection, we have Gatomon and Biomon. Still hoping to get that Gomamon and Patamon, but I'm just gonna have to find more of these blind bags. Hopefully my stores have restocked because I have not seen these in quite some time. In the comments below, let me know what you guys think. Of these three characters, which one was your favorite? Of the Digimon series, which Digimon is your favorite? And who would you like to see as a Digimon Domes character? Make sure to leave that all in the comments below and if you like this review make sure to hit that thumbs up and if you haven't already please do subscribe and for further content you can always follow me on tumblr instagram and twitter and until next time digi destin